Imagine the vast ocean where the mighty USS Carl Vinson, a Nimitz-class supercarrier, cuts through the waves, ready for battle. This powerful symbol of American naval strength, CVN-70, is more than just a vessel. It's the tip of the spear for modern military strategy. At the 2024 Rim of the Pacific military exercises marked a significant moment for the U.S. Navy, particularly the USS Carl Vinson. This aircraft carrier served as the centerpiece for demonstrating the Navy's emerging concept, the future air wing. As global tensions rise and technological advancements accelerate, the evolution of naval warfare has become crucial for ensuring dominance, especially in regions like the Asia-Pacific. So how will carriers like the Carl Vinson continue to secure dominance in this evolving era of naval warfare? What's the greatness of the future air wing concept? Let's find out. The third nuclear-powered Nimitz-class carrier, USS Carl Vinson, was launched in 1980 and officially entered service in 1983. As with other carriers in her class, CVN-70 can carry more than 65 fixed and rotary wing aircraft, while she can travel more than 5,000 nautical miles in less than seven days in support of national tasking. The USS Carl Vinson, which sailed from its home port in San Diego to Hawaii for the RIMPAC exercises, carried the second carrier air wing, showcasing a range of new combat systems. Traditionally, aircraft carriers have been viewed as the pinnacle of naval power, enabling countries like the US to project force far beyond their shores. However, the technological landscape is changing rapidly and maintaining this edge requires constant innovation. During the exercise, the Carl Vinson highlighted two key components of the U.S. Navy's strategy for the future, advanced missile systems and electronic warfare capabilities. These enhancements underscore the Navy's efforts to address both long-range air threats and emerging challenges from increasingly sophisticated missile technologies. The U.S. Navy's aircraft carriers and their air wings are becoming less effective due to changes in warfare and technological advancements by rivals like China. Shorter-range aircraft have replaced long-range ones, and the overall number of aircraft on carriers has decreased. To stay competitive, the Navy needs to improve its long-range strike capabilities and increase the size of air wings. Hence, the U.S. Navy came up with the idea of future air wing. This concept includes adjustments to meet new threats, like longer range strike capabilities, and incorporating unmanned aerial systems. It discusses how existing limitations, such as shorter range aircraft and reduced air wing sizes, may weaken the Navy's effectiveness, and how a future air wing needs to adapt to stay competitive in modern warfare. Thus, she carries the second carrier air wing, a formidable lineup that includes advanced F-35C stealth fighters, versatile F-A-18EF fighters, cutting-edge EA-18G electronic warfare aircraft, E-2D early warning systems, MH-60RS helicopters, and a range of other specialized aircraft. One of the most striking developments seen at RIMPAC was the deployment of the AIM-174B long-range air-to-air missile. The missile represents a leap forward for U.S. carrier-based air defense systems. It extends the reach of the U.S. Navy's air capabilities by offering significantly greater range than its predecessors, such as the AIM-120D3. The AIM-174B's range 
is more than twice that of conventional air-to-air -air missiles. It borrows heavily from the ship-based Standard Missile 6 platform, which has been a key element in the U.S. Navy's long-range missile defense strategy. With a range of around 240 kilometers, the AIM-174B allows U.S. carrier strike groups to engage enemy aircraft from much farther distances. It also supports A launch and B guide operations, which enable the missile to receive updated targeting information from other aircraft after being launched. This flexibility could prove decisive in modern warfare, where the ability to adapt in real time is critical to success. These advancements reflect the U.S. Navy's ongoing efforts to close the gap in long-range missile capabilities, particularly as the next-generation air-to-air missile developed jointly with the U.S. Air Force is still in development. For now, the AIM-174B fills a vital role, ensuring that carrier strike groups can continue to project power even in the face of increasing threats from adversary air forces. Another key focus of the Carl Vinson during RIMPAC was its enhanced electronic warfare capabilities. The EA-18G Growler aircraft, equipped with the ANALQ-99FV electronic warfare pod, demonstrated the Navy's commitment to both offensive and defensive electronic warfare tactics. This system allows U.S. forces to disrupt enemy communications, disable air defense systems, and even conduct cyber attacks through remote code insertion. The ANALQ 99FV pod is among the most advanced electronic warfare systems deployed by the U.S. military. By utilizing phased array radar technology, it can simultaneously target multiple threats over a wide area. This gives U.S. strike groups a significant advantage in complex battle environments where multiple threats need to be neutralized quickly. The pod can also emit high-powered microwave signals to physically damage enemy systems, further enhancing its utility in modern combat. Moreover, the deployment of the AGM-88G Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile during these exercises showcased the Navy's ability to destroy enemy radars and air defense positions. These hard-kill tactics complement the soft-kill approach of electronic warfare systems, ensuring that U.S. forces have multiple layers of protection against high-tech adversaries. The Navy's future air wing concept is still evolving, and the next few years will be critical in determining its success. The advancements in missile technology and electronic warfare systems are just the beginning. As the U.S. military continues to refine these technologies, it will also need to integrate them into a broader strategic framework that includes greater cooperation with allied forces. One key focus will be interoperability. As the U.S. shifts more of its strategic attention to the Asia-Pacific, working closely with regional allies like Japan, South Korea, and Australia will be essential. By integrating these new technologies with allied systems, the U.S. Navy aims to create a seamless defense network capable of countering emerging threats from adversaries. However, it's clear that these advancements alone won't be enough to address all the challenges facing the U.S. Navy. The future of aircraft carriers as a core element of naval power remains uncertain. Whether through further innovations in carrier design, unmanned systems, or entirely new forms of naval warfare, the U.S. military will need to continue adapting to maintain its edge in an increasingly complex global environment. That wrap for today. Thank you for watching.